is the man goddamn Philip Anselmo from the... Ah, no, it's not at all, actually. You idiot, you thought it was Phil Anselmo. It's not, it's Stephen Hill here on my YouTube channel. Uh, all right, I hope you're doing good. Um, so today, what am I going to be doing? I'm going to be talking about what sort of makeup you should wear when you go to a gig. Yeah, no, obviously I'm not going to do that um, because I'm not a shallow boring pointless cunt but there are plenty of people unbelievably who do do videos like that on youtube who knew ridiculous um anyway uh what i'm gonna do today is not a review of a new album but a review of quite an old album because um when i was doing the breakfast show on team rock radio i used to this thing we started off called 69 albums to hear before you die which was uh, my idea which was just basically getting together a bunch of albums which i thought were great that didn't have the critical or commercial kudos that I thought they deserved and sort of, you know, things that people might have missed. I thought I'd put them out to people, play a song from it and everyone would go, great. But of course, most of the people who listen at that time of day just want Sweet Child of Mine played over and over again. <sighs> so what better time, what better place to resurrect it than right here? So um, I'm going to do that now and again. The first album that I'm going to talk to you about is this. It's called Highly Refined Pirates by the band Minus the Bear from 2000, the year 2000, the 21st century, the Millennium Bug, all that stuff. That was all exciting, wasn't it? Um, basically, uh, I heard about Minus the Bear because of their guitarist. Their guitarist is Dave Nudson. Dave Nudson used to be in the band Botch. Um, I love Botch. It's probably for another time, really, to talk about Botch. But um, I actually interviewed Ben Collar from Converge recently, and uh, he told me that back then, back in the kind of the Boston hardcore scene, all of the bands from that scene were totally in awe of Botch. Like they were the best band, you know, and you think that's a Hope Conspiracy, Bane, Converge, uh, Dillinger Escape Plan, Cave In, all these great bands, and they were like, Botch were the great band. And ben was saying, you know, like, oh, I'm always talking to the guys from Botch and telling them to get back together. And one of the things that are amazing about Botch is they've played this kind of mathy, techy metalcore, um, but unlike the, the kind of Gattered gun, uh, jazzy, you don't know where it's going, rhythms of the Dillinger Escape Plan. Um, Dave Nudson's got this really weird kind of finger tapped but fluid kind of, he, he kind of glides up and down his fretboard uh, and, and makes rhythms rather than like you say with the Dillinger where it just kind of seems to go everywhere, you don't know where it's going. You can kind of feel where the guitars are going to go with Botch but they're still really technical, really unique. It's not just kind of whacking out three chord punk. So when I heard he had a new band, um, I immediately was like, great, I have to get this, have to hear this band. And um, so I was a bit disappointed when I first heard this album, purely because of the type of music that it is. It's, uh, it's kind of indie music, really, I guess. It's kind of like, although they were around before The Killers, it's kind of like something like The Killers, but much, much better. Um, it's sunny outside, it's a lovely summer's day. I think this is the perfect summer album. It's really technical, it's really kind of, the, the riffs are quite, they're not even riffs really, the guitar parts are almost like uh, you'd expect in electronic music. It's very glacial, it glides. It's also got a big influence from kind of early uh, 1980s British post-punk. If you think of bands like The Police, if you think of bands like XTC, they've got really big choruses. Rhythmically, it's amazing. I don't know the drummer's name, um, but the drummer is, is amazing. The drummer does some really interesting things. The guitar parts uh, are, are quite kind of almost post-rock, but then you've got these great kind of, like I say, bouncing um, post-punk beats and bass lines to it. It's a great album. It's got some ridiculous song titles, uh, like Damn Bugs Whacked in Johnny, which is a crazy name, but a great song. Uh, the song Spritz Spritz really reminds me of The Police. The opening track, Thanks for the Killer Game of Crisco Twister, again, is great, and it's all kind of... Um, Lyrically, it's uh, it's quite romantic, quite lovelorn, and um, particularly my favourite track on the album. Uh, there's two actually, Monkey Knife Fight, which is great, it's the second track, and Absinthe Party at the Fly Honey Warehouse, which is probably my favourite song on the album, um, which is, like I said, it's really romantic, it's really kind of evocative of, uh, of what the lyrics are about. The lyrics are about um, an American couple uh, deciding to go travelling and going to France and being kind of in awe of the history uh, and and the kind of uh, the architecture in France, which seems like kind of quite a, an odd thing to write a song about, but it's it's so kind of um, it's so beautifully done. Like I said, it's so evocative, and it's not really the sort of thing you normally associate with American tourists. Uh, 
so that's good. And I just think it's a really, really great album. I mean, if you're a fan of Weezer, if you're a fan of Fugazi, I think you'd like it either. But I think you'd like it if you're a fan of bands like Death of Anna or Lair Atlantis or Don Broco, or any of those kind of newer, um, more poppy British rock bands that are coming around at the moment who just, you know, who write really catchy songs. But this is a lot cleverer. The lyrics are a lot more evocative. Um, and it's certainly better than The Killers. Um, and it's got, obviously the most amazing guitar parts that you can imagine. I'll try and do more of these, um, but that is the first one of 69 albums to hear before you die. It'll probably be more or less than 69. I doubt it'll be 69 on the button. Minus the Bear, Highly Refined Pirates. <laughs> 